Alright, here it is, August 13th, and um, this is, believe it or not, the Sonic section. Mere days ago I was here and all these hooks were full. Now the Mario section has gone back to its previously designated border, and almost all the Sonic toys, even, even all those plushies I was looking at earlier, all gone. Look at all of these empty hooks. I heard rumors that the new wave is actually supposed to hit stores on the 15th. If that's true, then it could be that we're looking at these shelves being emptied out right before they fill them up with all the new stuff. So if all goes well, I should be back here on the 15th and uh, and you'll see shelves full of hopefully new Sonic toys. Now, just, um, of course, that I'm going to have to wait two days, but anyone who's watching this video will probably just see it happen in a jump cut. And the answer is no, they didn't bring them in. Although, if you look, they're getting ready. Here's the Team Chaotix set. That's going to be the one that has Charmy in it. Um... They're going to have uh, five inch flocked figures. That means figures that feel kind of furry. New comic book pack. Uh, all the way up there. That could be... This could be the old two packs. Or they could be the Rouge and Shadow and Blaze and Sonic two packs. You know, if we're optimistic, let's pretend that that's what that is. Uh, they do have the mini plushes. These are new. They make the same sounds as the bigger ones I was pointing out last time. Um, let's see. Grabbing Glow Sonic. I have... I have no idea what that is. We're gonna find out. Let's see. Three inch figure game pack. You know the... They got free riders. I have no idea. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Morph Light Sonic? Uh, they're, they're definitely planning, I don't know, then, then Mega Light? Mega, what the? Oh, they're, they're definitely going to have something. A lot of interesting new stuff. Unfortunately, on the shelves right now at this very moment are only a bunch of classic Tails figures and a couple of Amy race, of the Amy race cars. And then... You know, down here you have those two-inch figures, the remote-controlled vehicles, and the statues. Plus the boombox. Boombox is cool. But hey, hopefully sometime this week or next, we will have the full release. One of the employees told me that the, at her employment level, they don't tell them what comes on the truck. But the release date is soon. It's very soon. We can see the hooks are easily prepared for it. Um, <clears throat> of course, even though the Sonic figures aren't out, still looking at all the other Jazzwares fanfare. Um, can you believe they've uh, got licenses with Hanna-Barbera now? That kind of came out of left field to me. Uh, look, you have a uh, Huckleberry Hound with um, articulation. Hong Kong Fooey, number one super guy. I hated this cartoon. Ugh. Uh, it's, it's one of those shows where the protagonist is a complete dumbass. I never liked it. I don't like it when the, pro when the main character is a complete idiot. And uh, here's a cream of the crop. Space Ghost with the little monkey sidekick. Looking at him, he looks a lot like a DC UC figure. Except made with uh, standard Jazzwares quality plastic. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it fragile, but the the plastic quality is definitely a bit softer. I don't know. Th this is a plastic that you would give to younger kids. 
but the toy itself, it obviously it's supposed to appeal to an older audience. Or maybe they think that a bunch of 10-year-olds are watching Boomerang. I don't know. Um, so yeah, looking at him, he has all the basic joints I've seen in a DCUC, the same hip design, thigh swivels, um, knees appear to be only single jointed, but he does have ankle joints. He has um, wrist joints, and I've gone yellow again. Uh, only thing, his hand is sculpted in a way, hold on, I had to reset the colors. Um, his, his hand appears to be sculpted in the pose where he's pushing the button on his power gauntlet, except he's lacking a bicep swivel. I mean, isn't that kind of the most important thing for Space Ghost to be able to do? It's like, it's, it's actually really good figure in terms of sculpt and articulation, but it's just lacking one critical thing that you would need to put him into one of his most iconic poses from the cartoon. I mean, I would have gladly gotten rid of that thigh swivel if I could have just had one up in the bicep. <laughs> but still, it's a Space Ghost action figure, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, Jazzwares also has a bunch of regular show figures. There's Muscle Man with High Five Ghost. Um, uh, bleh, bleh, skips. Um, Benson. Mordecai and Rigby, Pops, and of course we have the three inch figures of them. Although Mordecai and Rigby kind of seem out of scale with each other. Rigby should be about half as tall as he actually is. And um, I don't know what they were thinking with that visible gum line thing. I mean he has a, a gimmick where there's this little switch in the back of his head. Let's see if I can... Rawr. I I can't even really get it to work very well. Yeah, yeah there we go. Nom, 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 nom. Why is that a thing? What were they thinking? I don't know. If I were if I would get this, I would probably just completely paint over that lower lip. Seriously, what were they thinking? It's like, it's like his look. It's like he's walking around like this. It's just weird. Okay, so that's Adventure Time. You know, they still have BMO. They have a, a few more of these little standees. I kind of wish that these were actual figure variants, but, you know, the... This is a uh, pretty cool. It's uh, this is from the episode where Jake and Finn went to the wizard school and learned all kinds of magic. Then you have um, the battle pack. Not, I don't remember Finn using that ball and chain weapon. I think I need to watch more Adventure Time. I do remember this one, the Fight King's Arena, where Finn was possessed by the Fight King's evil aura and these sobbing ghost warriors. Turns out that they were manipulated by the Fight King to kill their best friends, and then they, their spirits were enslaved to him, and they spent all their time crying. Then um, you have all the zombie candy people. That's pretty cool, including the zombie Finn. And uh, oh, they've um, they open up the front of Bimo's face so you can switch around. You have like uh, fighting Lincoln's. They're either fighting or playing football. Angry Bimo, Sleepy Bimo, I think that's when he's recharging, and Smiley Bimo. I love Bimo. If you love Bimo, like this video. <laughs>